All right, guys, and I'm back, and I hope you've had a happy new year and a Chris uh, and a really merry Christmas. And I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I think it's been a week, so I forget about um, the week that I've been taking off just the fact that I've been playing games, spend time with friends and family. So I'm going to be keeping with my YouTube schedule, and you know it is Thursday. And if you've been watching my channel and my actually keeping up with my schedule, it is national t budget national team today. And as you can see on the screen, we've gone with Holland because it's next on the list after we did England, France, Spain, and Germany. And I don't know who's next off the horn, so you have to keep ne um, keep on my channel for next episode. All right, guys, we're going to jump straight into this, and we're going to go with our first player, and that is going to be our main goalkeeper. And that is going to be Tim Krul, Newcastle's number one goalkeeper. I think he's actually injured at the moment, but he still is Newcastle's number one goalkeeper, who's amazing on this game. Well, actually, I won't say amazing. He's all right. Uh, moving on to our first centre-back, and that is going to be Van Dijk, the Celtic centre back who's been really good this season and who is a very strong holding centre back. He'll do your work for you. Moving on to our other centre back position that is going to be Martins Indy from Porto who was a left back for PSV who moved last season but now he is a centre back with a strong looking stat card Who and they tell you what guys if I think he played centre back in the Netherlands team in the World Cup and that's where he should be and exactly where FIFA put him. Moving to our left back, and that is going to be Butner, Man United's ex Liverpool uh, ex player. I don't know why I'm saying ex Liv. <laughs> Stop myself there. But um, as you know, guys, Netherlands is not riddled with gold left backs, so we have to go with a silver one, and they're pretty much expensive. So we had to go with Butner because I think he was the cheapest left back and pretty much the best decent one. Uh, moving on to our right back position, and we're going to go with Van der Veel. I think he's the highest rated right back who is a very, very strong right back. His pace covers that, his defence and his physical, so he's very strong on the ball. Uh, moving on to our send defensive midfielder, and that is going to be Nigel de Jong, who is a very, very strong hold in centre defensive mid. I've put him in plenty of my Serie A teams and even hybrids when I put a Netherlands team together. He is strong. I think he's, uh, due to the fact he got a very big upgrade with pace. He's defending, and he's even card. I think he was an 80, a 79 last season on FIFA, but now he's an 81. But that makes him even better. Okay, guys, moving on to our first centre mid, and that is going to be Strootman from Roma. Who, it, like I said, guys, I, I've used him in many of my teams before. He has got a wicked left foot, and he's got. Oh, I think he's got the long shot trait, so he can do wonders in that midfielder position if you fancy taking long shots from outside the box. Uh, moving on to our other centre mid guys, and you can see yes, before it was Leroy Fur, the QPR centre centre mid. He can play anywhere in the um, like midfield guys. He's pretty much a really good centre mid, centre defensive mid, and centre mid due to the fact he's got high, he's got all seventies and that eighty six physical, so he's very strong. And if you really want to be ambitious, you can put him in cam. I think he can play there. Moving on to our first striker, well, kind of forward. It is going to be Narsing from PSV, the right winger. I've not played with him this much, guys, but I think he's all right due to the fact his pace, his dribbling, and his passing is all right. So on that winger position, he can do the job. Moving to our other left winger, and as you can guess, guys, it is going to be the one, the only, Memphis Depay, the other PSV winger. And obviously, guys, there's, there's, I think there's two gold left wingers, and I think obviously I was going to go with Memphis Depay. He's quite, he's decently cheap, with who's a five star skiller, and he's only 78 rating. But that is a massive stat increase from his 73 or 74 rated silver card last season that got so many upgrades. All right, guys, moving on to our last position, and that is going to be El Kabir, who's got a. Who I've you well actually I had a fantastic time with him playing on FIFA 12 or FIFA 13 when he was in the Serie A. He was amazing to play with, and and I think this FIFA is actually um, amazing to play with again, due to the fact he got a pace increase from last FIFA. I'm not sure where he played last FIFA, but he's now in the Saudi Arabian league. Who's got an 86? He's still got four star skill. That surprised me. But it, that makes him really decent, guys. So, guys, there is the budget Netherlands team, or budget Holland team, whatever you want to call it. Still same thing. So, I hope you um, like this episode, guys. I know I haven't uploaded for a week, but as you, I explained at the start of the video, 
but I will be continuously uploading videos from now. I don't think there'll be any pauses in that. So, alright, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you for the next episode.